These visuals show the anger of residents following the June 1992 Boipadong massacre. Then President F. W. de Klerk was chased away. That anger was reignited when de Klerk was interviewed by the SABC on the 30th anniversary of the announcement to unban the ANC and other prohibited organizations. But there's a difference between calling something a crime, like genocide is a crime. Apartheid cannot be, that's why I'm saying this, cannot be, for instance, compared with genocide. There was never genocide. But there was a mass killing of people. Under apartheid. There were many people died. Yes. Mass imprisonment but of people. But more, but more people died because of black-on-black -black violence than because of apartheid. Days later, at the State of the Nation address, the EFF demanded that de Klerk be removed from the House. Honorable Speaker, we have a, a murderer in the House. We have a, a man who's got blood of innocent people in this House, which is supposed to represent the wills of our people. And therefore, it is incorrect for you to have extended an invitation to de Klerk, because de Klerk is a murderer. The clerk has got blood on his hands. The people of Guipatum are turning in their graves. And the clerk said that crime was, you, apartheid was not crime against humanity. It even led to calls that the clerk must be stripped of the Nobel Peace Prize. The value of that prize in his hand is uh, meaningless to the extent that he might even want to return it himself. The point I'm making is very simple. By making these provocative statements, the clerk is actually perpetrating violence because apartheid is nothing but brutality and violence. So if you support apartheid, you are supporting violence. So how can the same man with the one hand be perpetrating violence and then with the other hand be holding the Nobel Peace Prize? It's a contradiction. If he wants to uh, propagate apartheid, fine, let him do it. But he mustn't do it as a Nobel Peace Prize uh, laureate. The ANC says the clerk can't continue to enjoy presidential perks if he is unrepentant. It cannot be that uh, Mr. F. W. de Klerk believes in his own mind that he can continue to enjoy the privileges of being a former leader of the republic when he carries himself in that irresponsible manner. You know, th there's a saying uh, that says sticks and stones head, weights don't. But if you use weights in an irresponsible manner, you can effectively spark chaos. The Democratic Alliance, through its Federal Council Chair Helen Zilla, declined to comment on the views of the last apartheid president. Samke Masego, SAPC News, Johannesburg.